Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is on lower back pain. In today's world, most of the people are suffering from this issue. Mainly people sitting for long hours and working, students studying all day, and also the homemakers who are standing for long hours. If you are in the same posture for long hours, your body posture gets compromised and this will cause your lower back muscles to get weak. That will in turn cause lower back pain. In today's session, we are practicing few of the asanas which will strengthen your lower back muscles and also reduce the pressure on your back. Please practice this session at least three days a week to get rid of your lower back pain. Before we begin the practice, please subscribe to my channel and also hit on the bell icon for notification. Let's now begin the practice. Let's begin the practice with cat cow stretch. Get into tabletop position. Your knees in line with your hips and your palms in line with your shoulders. Now. As you inhale, you are lifting your chest up, depressing your spine, looking up at the ceiling. As you exhale, you are lifting your spine up slowly and bringing your chest down. This stretch is very good for back pain. So do it really slow and feel your spine let's do it once more as you inhale lift your chest up depressing your spine looking up at the ceiling feel your spine as you exhale bring your chest down lifting your spine up and your chin reaching your chest we are doing it for three more counts inhale depressing your spine your chest goes up looking up at the ceiling stay here feel the spine as you exhale bring your neck down chest down and your spine goes up inhale lift your chest up and spine depressed neck up as you exhale bring your neck down chest down and your spine goes up one last time inhale lift your chest up neck up and your spine depressed as you exhale, your spine goes up, your neck and chest goes down, neck, chin reaching your chest. Okay, now from here we are getting into child's pose. Let your hands be wherever they are. Widen your knees a little and touch both your big toes to each other. Now from here, you're bringing your hip down closer to your heels. You're resting your hip on your heels and you're resting your forehead on the floor and extending your hands out as much as possible. This gives a really nice stretch on your lower back and this is really going to relax your lower back. Okay, stay here. Keep breathing. Let's stay here for five breaths. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now from here, you're lifting your chest up and lying down flat on the floor on your stomach. Okay, so lie down on your stomach. Keep your feet together, toes extended out 
and your palms next to your chest. Now you are lifting your chest up by pushing the forearms to the floor and remember that you are keeping your elbows in line with your shoulders and you are staying here looking forward. If you feel you need more support then you can place your elbows on the floor and place your palms beneath your chin. This will also do. So you can stay in the posture whatever makes comfortable for you. We are staying here for 5 breaths. Squeeze your buttocks. Keep breathing. 5 4 3 2 1 Bring your hands down. Bring your chest down on the floor and bring your hands next to your thighs. Now you are making a fist of your hands by bringing your thumb towards your palm and closing your thumb with other fingers. You are making fist with both your hands and placing it at your pubic bones. Okay and resting down. Now as you inhale, you are lifting your right leg up as high as possible. If you are not able to bring your leg so high, you can also start from here. Not at all an issue. Okay. We are staying here in this posture for 5 breaths. 5, 4, Three, two, one. Bring your leg down. Repeat the same on the other leg. Inhale, leg lifted. Keep breathing. Stay there. Five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, leg down. We are repeating the same once more on both the legs. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Stay there for five breaths. Keep breathing. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. As you exhale, your leg down. As you inhale, your left leg up. Keep breathing. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. As you exhale, leg rested on the floor now we are lifting up both the legs together okay as you inhale lifting your chin up lift both your legs up as high as possible keep breathing you can even start from here you don't have to worry if you're not able to reach more high okay stay there for five breaths squeeze your buttocks five Four, three, two, one. Slowly, as you exhale, bring your legs down onto the float. Your hands out. Now bring your palms next to your chest. Push your palms to the floor. Lift your chest up. Get onto your knees. We are getting into child's pose once more. Let your hands be wherever they are. Widen your knees, big toes touching each other. As you exhale, bring your hip down onto your heels. Placing your forehead on the floor, hands extending out. Keep breathing. 
stay here for five breaths. Five, four, three, two, one. As you inhale, lift your chest up. We are now lying down flat on the floor on our back. Sit on your hips, extend your legs out, lying flat on the floor on your back. You are bending your legs at your knees and placing your feet flat on the floor. Bring your heels closer to your hips. Now as you inhale, slowly lift your hip up towards the sky, hip up, your lower back up and your mid back up as high as possible. Remember your ankles are always in line with your knees. Okay, keep breathing, squeeze your buttocks. If it is possible, then you can interlock your fingers beneath your hip and lift your chest up as high as possible squeeze your buttocks keep breathing stay there five four three two one as you exhale bring your hip down resting on the floor bring both your knees closer to your chest hold your shin with your hands and roll on your back to give a gentle massage to your back your legs down feet rested on the floor now open your arms out at your shoulder level and you're bringing your leg placing towards right side of your mat and you're looking towards your left hand this is going to nicely stretch your spine and is going to be very relaxing to your spine Feel your spine, keep breathing, stay here for five breaths, five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, bring your legs to the center as you inhale you're lifting your leg up and placing it on left side of your mat and you're looking towards your right hand stay here for five breath feel the twist on your spine keep breathing five four So exhale, bring your legs to the center, placing your feet rested on the floor. Now as you inhale, you're lifting both your legs up and holding your big toe with your fingers and your widening your legs we are doing ananda balasana happy baby pose stay here keep breathing remember that your soles are facing the sky yeah five four three two 
one. As you exhale, release from the posture, bringing your legs down. Now straighten your legs and lie down in Shavasana, your hands next to your hips, palms facing the sky, fingers gently curled. Keep your eyes closed, relax your complete body. Release all the tension created in this practice. Relax each and every part of your body. Keep breathing. Gently move your fingers and your toes, your hands and legs. Turn to your right. And sit back on the mat on your hips keeping your eyes closed rub your palms place it on your eyes open your eyes to practice this session at least three times a week to get rid of your lower back pain on the days of lower back pain you can practice this once in the morning and once in the evening to get relief. If you have any questions, leave them in comment section. Let's meet in another video. Until then, stay healthy and stay happy.